In the box, you'll receive the phone itself with the battery pre-installed, as well as a number of accessories like a SIM card extractor, headphones, and a wall charger. The phone comes with its own pre-installed screen protector. Pull the blue tab to expose the clear screen protector below. Insert your SIM if you plan to use a cellular network. If you ordered Librem Awesome, the privacy and security SIM will be pre-installed for you. The hardware kill switches are labeled. The top switch controls all things cellular, phone calls, text messaging, and mobile data. The middle switch enables or disables Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and the bottom one turns off cameras and microphones. With all switches flipped, all other sensors are turned off, including GNSS, IMU, ambient light, and proximity sensors in what we call lockdown mode, leaving your device still able to run apps but completely unattached from all networks and unable to record or pull sensor data. For the initial setup, we will enable all hardware. Before powering on, it's wise to charge the battery. Plug the phone into its charger for an hour or until the red indication light has turned off. With that done, hold the power button down for about a second to turn on your Librem 5. The indicator light will turn green. You'll be greeted by the lock screen. The default pin is 1 through 6. Since this is the first launch, you'll be asked a few questions. Select your preferred language and keyboard layout. You can also set up Wi-Fi at this point. 2.4 GHz networks are more power efficient, while 5 GHz networks are generally faster. You can also add an online account here. This is a good way to import contacts. Welcome to your Librem 5. Like any computing device, tap an application icon to start that app. When a text box is selected, the keyboard pops up. You can easily toggle the on-screen keyboard at any point by tapping the keyboard icon. Running updates will ensure your device is stable and performing at its best. Make sure to install them often since we're making rapid progress on development and applications. When you install software updates, the phone will reboot itself to show progress, then reboot to the upgraded software. Let's go over the default application lineup. The Calls app opens the Recent Log by default. You can select the phone icon to call back a number, or select the dial pad to enter a number manually. Chats is an SMS and XMPP messaging client. It makes it simple to stay in contact with your friends and family. This is our default web browser. Web searches are piped through DuckDuckGo to enhance privacy. Any web pages you find yourself visiting a lot can easily be turned into a web app. Isolating its config and setting up an icon within the app grid. Contacts can be imported through an online account like Nextcloud. Or you can just create a local address book and use that. Our calculator is great for basic use, as well as financial and scientific uses. If you're looking for a challenge, even the easy mode within chess is a struggle to win. Alarms, timers, and stopwatch functions are all available within clocks. Document Viewer is perfect for viewing a variety of files like PDFs. Email is now installed by default. When you first set up an account, you'll be asked to choose a password for your new general purpose keyring. Don't forget the password you set here. Once an account is added, you can easily draft, reply, or simply monitor your inbox for new emails. The PureOS store lets you browse for new apps. All apps here are adapted to work on the Librem 5 screen. The included text editor is simple and straightforward. When you're done, save the text file as whatever you'd like. The usage app gives you an overview of what's running on your system. You can force quit apps based on CPU and RAM, or examine your free space. You can also keep a close eye on your hardware thermal zones. Another new addition to our default lineup is the weather app. The clean UI gives you an hourly forecast as well as a daily breakdown. Let's get familiar with the settings. Wi-Fi allows you to connect to other networks. You can also enter software airplane mode, as well as manage your past and current connections. Under mobile, you'll find the main toggles to enable mobile data. This will allow you to use your modem for internet. Bluetooth settings will allow you to connect a variety of devices, including input devices like a keyboard, mouse, or gamepad. If you want fewer notifications, 
enable Do Not Disturb mode, or disable a specific app. Under Region and Language, you can change your preferred language as well as set other keyboard layouts. If you skip setting up an online account, you can do so here at any time. In addition to the hardware kill switches, you can software disable the hardware and tune your privacy to your liking. Sound settings allows you to finally control your audio devices, letting you control what sound goes where. Power settings will help give you an idea of how long you can expect your battery to last, predicted by the last few minutes of use. Dock support and convergence features are not yet enabled by default, as we are finishing up the plug and play features around docking and high speed charging. Once this is done, you'll be able to connect a display and manage it here. Under details, you'll find a few important settings. Date and time will allow you to set your time zone, as well as set your preferred clock format. User settings will allow you to set a new six digit pin code. Default application settings works as you'd expect, allowing you to define which apps open automatically. The top dropdown gives you access to a lot of these settings fast. You can quickly jump to mobile, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or power settings. You can also switch to landscape, quickly silence everything, or turn on a flashlight. The volume level can be controlled with the top dropdown or the physical volume buttons on the side of the device. To quickly adjust screen brightness, simply drag around this slider. Just below the brightness slider is the notification area. New emails, SMS texts, and system notifications like software update reports will all gather here. Selecting the power icon gives you the option to lock the screen, restart, or power off the device. When it's time to close an app, slide up on the app preview. Missing from the launch lineup is the camera app. While we have made recent progress getting data back from the camera, the final app will come in an update once we finish work writing the kernel driver for the hardware. Thank you all for the support. We are excited to bring you the Librem 5 phone.